How's it going you guys? Welcome back. The faction rally seems like such a far away and distant thing now. I can't even remember the last time the faction rallies were about but it's got to be months upon months now. And personally I miss faction rallies a lot. The fact that it was essentially another page of weapons added to loot pool was amazing. What accompanies the long absence of faction rallies are the forgotten weapons of the factions, the weapons that I hardly see used anymore. And that is what today's video is going to be about. So I have my two favourite weapons from the factions. So of course the old fashioned is probably the most famous faction weapon. It was a very popular hand cannon at the time and probably still is to this day, it's perfectly fine. But this is me talking though, my hand cannon aim is garbage. So while I respect the old fashioned, I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna use it. I think it's better for your eyes not to see that. So first of all, I have the new Monarchy Pulse Rifle, the Legal Action 2. High impact frame pulse rifle, plenty of range, also got the range masterwork, got Rampage on it, high caliber rounds, accurized rounds. High impact frame pulse rifles are my favorite of the lot, so this was a no-brainer for me, especially being on the side of new Monarchy mostly. A seriously solid pulse rifle. Hits like a truck and also is very smooth. And as for the energy weapon, we have the Hollow Earth. Rapid fire frame, dead orbit auto rifle, may as well say SMG, because it's pretty much what I'm gonna be using it as anyway. I know a lot of you guys in the previous Polaris Lance video questioning my loadout choice. And you know what, I get it. Pulse rifle, scout rifle, not the best combination. But this, in my eyes, is pretty much a hard-hitting pulse rifle and an SMG. Out of the two weapons I've shown now, I'd say the Hollow Earth is more of a popular choice. We have Zen Moment, Ricochet Rounds, Steady Rounds, Arrowhead Break, Hammerforge Rifling, and Pony Gunnel Rifling. And I think we can get some pretty fun gameplay today with these things. Also using the Hammerhead with Quick Draw and Rampage. You know what, I changed my mind. <laughs> we're gonna go with the Darcy. And the exotic we're gonna be using today is the Crest of Apalupi. Basically, if I panic, I can use a barricade and get some health. <laughs> That's really the plan here. Enough rambling though. Hope you guys enjoy. Well, I'm liking this SMG already. It's a damn SMG, okay? Ah, uh, yeah, I saw your Jotun. Don't even think I didn't. You guys say Jotun or Jotun? I'm, I just say Jotun just because I'm used to it, but I, it's probably wrong. Yeah, I see you. Oh, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, that was too close. That was too risky. Probably the most awkward super you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> to the person who always comments saying, uh, rating my thunder crash, I mean, that's probably going to be a 0 out of 10. But you know what? The important thing is we ended up alive. Oh, fantastic. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Geekomon, are you watching this? Look at that grenade. Yeah, no, you don't. Oh, okay, maybe you do. This guy got a Thunderlord? What's he got? Watch this, guys. Watch his skill. <laughs> it's okay, he didn't have... I thought he had a Thunderlord. That's why I was sort of putting it off a little bit, but we're fine. Hello! Hello, bow person. Now, come here. All right, I'm by myself here, and the whole team is pretty much right there. Get out of the way first. But then I'll just get my super back. Hold on a minute. We can get some Darcy ammo. I'm all over the place at the moment, but bear with me. This is going to work, okay? Watch this. I'm totally not going to get sniped immediately. Come on. What are we dealing with? What are we working with? Someone's going to come around there? Oh, please. The ultimate. Oh, yes, I got him. Okay, it doesn't matter if that was sloppy. It could have been much more clean, but we got him. We, got, we killed a Spectral Blade. Does it get more satisfying than that? I think not. I want to push this on my super, but it's too many people, too many teammates there. I'll just wait. What you got? What you got? Come on, push me. Come on, fight me, fight me, fight me. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what that guy has, but we have a similar high rate of fire auto rifle. Why SMG? Okay, this thing is shredding much more than I expected. Don't know why I'm pushing the pulse rifle, but hey, it's going to work. <laughs> Such overkill. <laughs> ah, 
34 kills and a 6.8. I mean, it's a good game, but unfortunately... Oh, we got an 18 streak? I didn't even realise. The single reason that turned into a little bit of a montage is purely because I kind of forgot I was recording and wasn't really talking much. <laughs> Forty-six kills though, solid. Okay, so the new idea really is to only use this in long range, longer sort of ranges, and this is going to be like my primary from now on. Oh, that was crispy. I mean, it wasn't crispy, I just, you know, it's very satisfying to see. If you're someone who uses a pulse rifle, getting a kill with the last three bullets of your magazine, that is like the best feeling. <sighs> you see what I mean by the close range? <laughs> Come on, peek again. You know you want to. Everyone peeks again, everyone likes peeking. I'm gonna get that kill. Come on, grenade. Help me out. Yes, thank you very much. No, you don't. <laughs> Guy was gunning for me. Fire team that fights together stays together. Am I a ghost in the night? <laughs> really? A phantom? Did... Really? Of all the ways to die? I mean, you guys can probably see what I mean by I want an extra magazine. I really want 36 instead of 27. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, my teammates. Only five minutes left. And we're still going. Fought like a titan of the first pillar. Yo, this pulse rifle was really shining on this map, in particular. Get some health going, come on. We need to keep pushing him. Make sure no one goes to our right. I think we're good for the moment. We're only relying on this head glitch at the moment because if too many of them come around, we are so dead. Okay, we're pushing with this guy. Come on, dude. Oh, he's got a Jotun. Let's go, buddy. Hello. I'm getting out of there. Come chase me. Come on. Let's go. No. Okay, I thought it was a Jotun. It's just the buff, right? Two for one. Fire team that fights the Oh, that's so close. Need someone to push me because I'm going to slam dunk on them and finish them off with the auto rifle. Yeah, bring it on, mate. Oh, he's got a super... <laughs> Perfect way. Shut down his super right away. Oh, that guy's sick of me now. <laughs> They're starting to catch on a little bit, yeah. They're starting to get it now. Here we go. 
<laughs> They're just waiting for me. Come on. Oh, I know he had a rocket launcher. No, you don't. Shut down another super. Come on. Yes, okay. Look, I don't care if I die. I've got another super. I've saved teammates from a potential death. Pretty sure we've won anyway, but who cares? 41 kills, 16 streaks, so okay, we're kind of close. 6.83 as well, that's a solid game. Well guys, now you know the true power of faction weapons, the potential, the pure potential of them. I so hope another batch of weapons, of faction weapons come out. They're always so fun, even if they're terrible to be honest, because if they are, then it's just more entertaining to use. But the pulse rifle and auto rifle? A solid pairing. Technically an SMG to me, but who cares? It may as well be one. Hopefully this was an enjoyable video for you guys to watch. Do let me know what is your favourite faction weapon, and also tell me if you still use any of them. Aside from that though, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to support me through the Epic Store, whether it's through Fortnite, buying a game like Division 2, Metro, or pre-ordering Borderlands 3, you can use my support a creator tag II Heli. And thank you so much to all the people so far who have used it. That being aside though, thank you so much for the continued support. Do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.